What's up guys, it's me Eric B and in this video I'm going to be doing an uh, install on my Pitbull trailer restraint system I just picked up. I'm going to be getting rid of the straps, I'm tired of dealing with straps, so it just takes time to you know strap everything down once you get the bike situated and you have to stop every now and again just to, to check on them to make sure you know they didn't come loose or anything like that. So I think the installation be, should be pretty straightforward and then I'll show you what comes in the box as well, so let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, so this is my first time seeing all this stuff too. All right, so this is everything that comes in the box. So I'm not real sure on a lot of the terms and everything for a lot of this stuff. So if I get it wrong, I apologize in advance. But um, get some uh, nuts, bolts, washers, and all the hardware that you need in order to uh, get this tightened down onto your trailer floor. Then you get this piece right here. So, uh, all right, so this is the main piece that goes on the rear of the bike. Um, has these uh, bike specific pins and everything that's right here. So if you ever decide to uh, get a new bike or anything like that, you can still keep the entire system and then just get new pins. So I think that's pretty awesome. So this is for the R6. So there's that. I'll see, set that over here. And then got some uh, installation instructions and everything to come with it. See what we got here. All right, so this must be the plate that goes down onto the floor. So there's that. And then what we got inside this thing. All right, so these are probably, yep. So these are, uh, are removable. So these go, you can't really see it because I got it all in the bubble wrap and everything. So probably help if I take them out. All right, so this is like the little, uh, I don't know what you call it yet. So like I said before, bear with me. I don't know all the names to everything on here yet, but this actually goes right on here. So you'll put the hardware in and you can actually remove these. So you can actually have a, a flat surface on the floor, you know, for uh, moving around other things and stuff like that if you're not trailing your bike. All right, so just in case anyone was wondering, I went ahead and uh, looked at the instructions. So this main piece right here is the uh, restraint frame assembly. That's what that's called. And like I said before, you have your bike, uh, <laughs> bike specific pins. I can't talk. And then you have the, uh, the floor plate. And then this is called a latch assembly. So there you have it. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna have to remove the uh, wheel chalk here that was holding the front tire down and uh, we won't be needing that anymore. And then I think the way that I have it set up now should be pretty close. And then uh, if you guys are wondering why I have the grip tape back here, that was basically just to keep the rear tire from sliding around when I had the straps on it. So like I said before, when I'm hitting bumpy roads and stuff, uh, that rear strap would come out and it's probably because I didn't have really good straps, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be pretty glad to actually get the uh, pit bull system in. All right, so now that we are ready to uh, go ahead and get that uh, floor plate on, you guys wanna make sure that you measure out how long you think you're gonna you know, need in the trailer from the axle to axle. So it's on you how far back you want or how uh, forward on the trailer you want it. So I want mine right about here and then going ahead and make your marks uh, to go ahead and drill. I think it's a three ace uh, drill bit to drill the holes. It's only four, so it's super easy. And then also take note that your wheel, your rear wheel is not gonna sit on this uh, base plate here. So it's gonna be a little bit ahead of it. So you wanna take your uh, frame here and kind of measure it out. Set it like kind of right here and then kind of measure out. That's where your rear wheel is gonna sit. So it's gonna be a little bit more forward um, of that. So once you have your measurements done, go ahead and drill your holes and you'll be good to go. So you're gonna grab your bolt and then you wanna grab your uh, mushroom standoff right here and have that flat portion up at the top of the head. And then you're gonna wanna grab your uh, flat washer and then your nut. And that's gonna go on the bottom of the trailer. All right, so once you get the base plate on the floor, um, as you can see, it's a super simple installation. You only have four bolts that hold it down 
And then I like this because it gives you a lot of space if you need to haul other things other than a motorcycle. So you can make the floor completely flat. Then you want to take your latch assembly, and these are awesome because they are also removable. You just slide them right in, or just like that, and there you have it. And then the same thing, if you want to remove them, you just pull this pin right here and remove it. All right, so now let's get the bike loaded. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and get the bike loaded up on the trailer. You can choose to put the frame assembly on the bike prior to pulling the bike up onto the trailer just because it has a bungee cord that you can hook it up onto. I don't have the rear uh, pegs on my bike anymore, so I really don't have any place for the bungee to connect. So I'm just gonna do everything once the bike's on the trailer. All right, now that I have the bike up here, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, frame on, remove the pins. So you just wanna go ahead and get it up onto the bike. Well, this is probably a little easier to do um, outside of the trailer, but I'm just going to do it this way. And once you get that on there, go ahead and sit that pin in there. Get it all lined up. So these pins come with a uh, like another little safety pin. It'll keep everything locked into place. Like I said before, you can take this bungee cord. And you can raise this up and connect it somewhere but if you had like rear pegs or something it connects to it quite easily like that but since i don't i'm just doing everything once it's on the trailer all right so once you get the bike where you want it just go ahead and back it on up right into the into place there and then lock it in and then you'll take this uh safety pin right here and i'll just keep everything locked in it'll prevent that uh that clamp from popping up that's it bikes not going anywhere all right so once I do this a couple times and get used to how everything is loaded I think this should literally take a couple minutes to uh, get everything locked down into place a lot better than messing with straps and you have a, a nice clean look and everything inside the trailer All right, piece of cake guys, super easy install as you can see, not a lot of hardware or anything like that. Definitely worth every penny. Um, I think it makes everything inside the trailer a lot cleaner. You don't have to deal with straps or anything like that. Um, if you are in the market for buying a pit bull system for your trailer, I hope this video has helped you out. Or if you just need help with installation, um, this video serves a purpose as well. Guys, let me know down in the comments what you think and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.